Okay, so I wanted to talk about the multiplication rule of probability. I've already talked about this before with tree diagrams, but I wanted to make, uh, wanted to sort of simplify this, but also sort of compare it to a real life example. So let's say that we've got, um, we've got some football, and by football I mean soccer. We've got some soccer games coming up, and we've got them coming up against Terrace. Now that means that the firsts are going to play, the seconds, the thirds, the fourths and the fifths. Now let's assign some probabilities to us winning each of those games. Let's say we have a, now remember a probability can be between 0 and 1, as in 0%, 100%. So let's say we have a 0.9% chance of winning the firsts. There's a 10, that means that there's a 0.1% chance we'll lose and a 0.9% chance that we'll win. Let's assume that we have a, sorry seconds, let's assume that we only have a 0.8% chance of winning in the seconds. Let's assume that our thirds are almost unbeatable and they have a 0.95% chance of winning the thirds. Let's assume that our fourths have a uh, 0.85% chance of winning. And let's assume that our fifths, well, they're, they're looking good. Let's give them a 0 0.92 chance of winning. Now, each of these can be expressed as 90%, 80%, 95%, 85%, or 92%. I'm just expressing them as a decimal. Now, the question I'm asking is, what is the probability that we get a clean sweep? That first, second, thirds, fourths, and fifths all win their game. Now the multiplication rule makes that very, very simple. The probability that they all win is going to be equal to the probability of each of them winning multiplied together. So the probability of all winning is going to be equal to the probability of the firsts multiplied by the probability of the seconds multiplied by the probability of the thirds multiplied by the probability of the fourths, multiplied by the probability of the fifths. Okay, so that's going to be 0 0.9 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.95 times 0 0.85 times 0 0.92. Now, you can put that into your calculator and I think you'll be surprised by the value. Have a think in your own head first. What do you think the probability of a clean sweep is? 100% chance? 0% chance? Where in there do you think the answer is? Alright, so I've put that into my calculator and the answer is very surprising. It's a 0 0.53, uh, I'll just put some more digits on there, 488. As a percentage, that means that there's a 53.49% chance that on this particular weekend where every one of our teams is an outstanding favourite, there's only a 53% chance that we're going to clean sweep this thing. It's an interesting thing about the multiplication rule of probability. Now, this was an extreme example. We've got five different events. One, two, three, four, five. We've multiplied the probability of each of those together. Now, any example that you're going to get is probably going to be smaller than that, two or three. Interestingly, this entire thing can be can be represented in a simplified tree diagram. I'm just going to draw it up real quick. Okay, you can see I called it a simplified tree diagram, but you can see that once you start getting past three or four trials, things really start getting away from you. Um, but there it is. Firsts, either win or lose. Seconds, either win or lose. Thirds, either win or lose. Fourths, either win or lose fifths, either win or lose. There should be some more arrows down here, but I've, I got sick of it. Uh, okay, so there's our multiplication rule of probability. If you want to know the prob the takeaway, the thing, is that if you want to know the probability of two events happening, either one after the other or at the same time, use the multiplication rule, find the probability of the first one, probably the second one, and then multiply them together. Done.